Hello everybody out there here for the Hammer Game Channel and welcome to another video and to the Thursday Week Reich where today we're going to be checking out the Moscow Liberation Army. We're going to see what fun we can get up to with them. We're probably going to end up getting killed by Germany when they come to reclaim their colonies but hey ho, we'll see what happens. So they're going to be them with the Soviets one way or another. Um, so let's jump into this. So you may notice that it's uh, the 14th of March 1953. I've skipped the initial part of playing as Moscowan because it's not exactly that exciting. Uh, you do have a tree but it's mainly for giving support to the various factions that will be fighting over control of Moscowan very very soon thanks to this um, and Adolf's death. So I've just skipped this. I thought it'd just be better to get straight into the action. So Siegfried, uh, Siegfried here has committed suicide and it was reported that he had feared that he would be executed by either a more moderate government in Germania or by a hostile takeover of Moscowans. So right now we have no proper leader. The SS Wehrmacht garrisons are going to take control. Okay, we elect ourselves a new Reichskommissar very, very quickly. It's Bronislav Kaminsky. And we now have a little tree for him. Restoration of Russian independence. It's anti-German revolt time. Play as Riggs comes rap, play as Soviet Moscow, play as the ROA, or play as Krabshev. Where the hell's Krab... Oh. Yeah, I'm playing as you. Long live free Russia. How many divisions do we start off with? Four. What is the point in that? How... What? Oh, finally we have the divisions. My days. That was not looking good for us there. Ah, the civil war has begun. Oh, Goring was put in power. Cool. Does Germania always... Oh. Does Germania always have that massive-ass building on it? To say, I think this is going pretty well. Getting encirclements all over the place. Let's take Smolensk. How many have I actually killed? 10k, 4k, we've lost 6k. Oh, Hungary lost once again. Nothing, nothing new that... Oh, go... Goring, what has happened? That was so. That was so quick. That was actually alarmingly fast. Okay, this is still going pretty well for us. How many divisions you actually got? One the six. That's pathetic. But uh, I think the Reichskommissarat's probably very close to dying. With the fall of Moscow, certainly. Okay, the Moscow Red Army is very close to dying, and they're actually potentially the strongest foe that we have. So I'm just trying to mop up as much as their territory as possible. The Association of the Freed are dead. Oh yes, the Moscow Red Army's dead. Ah, they're dead. There we, there we go. We, we won. That was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. The initial start was a bit worrying with only four divisions, but we managed to do it with 21 in the end. This legit could be the first time I've actually seen the Emergency Verstadt actually win. I'm very eager to see what happens. And look at how wonderfully bright and colourful over here is. Like, this is brilliant. We just need to invade them all. I do get to invade some of them. I think our first target should be these guys up here, because potentially when the civil war in Germany ends, they're going to pick a, pick a side to join. So, does it have a... Nope, we just have immediately declare war. And let's get Adolfsburg as well. That's, that's not surviving. Okay, I'm going to go with Ivanov had an agreement with us. Stand down. Oh, the RNNE becomes the ruling party. Do I want to do this? Do I do I want to? What does this open up for me? The Tsar's cabinet. Oh, okay. We're cool. Um, what I'll do is I think I'll maybe split the video off into two here. We'll do this, but we'll also keep um, our previous leader as well. Well, hello there. It is time for you to die. I'm afraid. Oh, our generals are a bit pissy, they know. Wait, we're now phalangist? Well, okay. I was not expecting that. The Greater German Reich is back and Erich von Manstein has been victorious. I cannot actually believe it. Is he going to be wholesome or is he just as much of a dick as all the other ones? Well, Manstein has uh, reunited the Reich's commissariat, so does... The traditionalist Wehrmacht. Wow, there's so many different people that can take over here. Reclaiming our empire, great. So I think regardless of who's in power, we're yeah, we're screwed. We're gonna be fighting Germany at some point. Hallelujah. And just like that, they're gone. 
Well, I'm hoping we're going to have quality here to actually beat them. So hopefully this goes rather swimmingly. Let's go for some uh, encirclements if we can get them. What maybe we actually try and do is actually just cut them in two. The Novgorod Socialist Republic's gone. So ev everybody come on down. Just walking straight into Minsk. There we go. Do I actually have claims on this? Oh, I do. Happy days. Oh, that's the good stuff. Goodbye to those Soviet republics. I'm already touching tips with Germany. Fantastic. Well, this is going to be easy as well, isn't it? Oh, yep. They only have two divisions and one of them is completely cut off. Just finish him off, please. Game set and match. Easy. Well, that's all the warring we can do right now. Um, but oh dear. How thick did we... Oh my days, I didn't even notice our manpower. We are looking good. Can I just invade like Estonia and that as well now? And on this day, the Tsar has been crowned. And we are now the Russian Empire. Surely that must be a, a error there. Fascist drift plus 0, 0.00. That, that's, that's surely incorrect. No way is that, that being put there um, on purpose. Oh, the Russian Republic met the fascists. And the Soviet Republic of Novosibirsk with Khrushchev is attacking Susilov's perm Soviet government. So I think we really need to kind of gear ourselves up and intervene in this. That's not very nice, calling Ivanov an unqualified buffoon. I've decided to go for an active Tsar rather than a ceremonial Tsar. And we're about to become a fanatical dictatorship as well. Woohoo! Oh wow, we just unlocked a lot of decisions here. Apologies Estonia, Lithuania. It's nothing personal I assure you, it's just free real estate. Oh wow, Lithuania died very quickly. Oh well, thanks for joining us. And there goes Estonia. Welcome. Just need to wait and get some PP, but our economy is fully recovered as well now. We do have syndicalist economics because we can get some little bonuses if we continue to do that. Oh my days, it's getting spicy in Russia. Oh, it's getting very spicy. So, Russian Republic's fighting Novosibirsk. They're now fighting both. I feel like I should really get in and attack Perm. Oh, it's getting it's getting good. My sincerest apologies, Latvia. But you're also free real estate. Straight to Riga. Done. The Patriarch has returned. Patriarch of Moscow, Alexei I, has returned to his position of Patriarch of the Russian Orthodox Church. Taking out Ukraine is going to be a very big gain for us. So, we're going in for the kill. Um, we have encirclements coming out of my ears right now. This has actually went really, really well. We have like... Oh, fantastic. Thanks for that game. Uh, we've slaughtered quite a decent batch of them. Wait, we're having the US-China Cold War already? Come on, Ukraine. Nighty night time. Can we even invade? Oh, can we invade? Bloody Hydric. It is the American-Chinese Cold War already. Seriously? Wow. Donetsk has fallen. Oh, surely. There we go. Oh, 13,000 guns as well. Happy days. Mm -mm -mm. We're getting thick. Can we invade Hydric? Oh, we can. Yeah, you're, you're, you're getting... You are getting it now. So long, Hydric. Yeah, dick. Into the Caucasus we go. Ah, they're dead. Perfect. Take all states. Oh, beautiful. Reintegrate the Caucasus. Azerbaijan. Georgia, I'm sorry. Georgia's dead, and so is Azerbaijan. Perfect, 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 perfect. Time to die, Armenia. Do you have, they only have, oh, they've got two divisions. 25,000 guns. I was in a deficit until this war. I'm now in a massive positive, so thank you for that, Armenia. Well, the only target we've got left is the Perm Soviet government, so let's get ready to take them on. Oh wow, let's definitely get ready to take them on. Oh, they've just decided to declare war on me. Okay, that's fine. I was ready to rock and roll anyways. And uh, they were not. Uh, I think uh, they've maybe bit off more they can chew by invading three folk at the same time. Oh, we are getting pockets and pockets of these terrible, terrible useless buggers. Oh, the encirclements are everywhere. Mm -mm -mm. See, this is what happens when you just send a guy in a little suicide run. Can't really be the Perm Soviet government without Perm. Oh, my days, we've got our encirclement. Uh, this this guy's off in a little run. What is happening? My divisions are pretty pish still. Like I I'm relying quite heavily on the royalist militias, which to be fair aren't completely awful. And they spawn with equipment, so I'm gonna keep getting them. Um, 
But like, I don't really have that many 7 and 2s. They have 14 to 27 divisions left. And a lot of them are actually encircled. I didn't even realise how well we're doing in the south here. I was not paying attention to that at all. Oh, it just continues to get funnier and funnier. 7 to 18 divisions left. Oh, we're going to be so thick after this. And there we go. Oh, so much land to integrate. Oh, Germany, Germany, Germany. You ain't getting nothing back from me, I'm afraid. Absolutely nothing. Well, hello, Germany. Great, the Germans just cutting right through me like I'm cheese. Level 5 forts done absolutely hee haw for me. Guess we'll just have to take the losses, the initial losses here. We just hope that we can turn it around. Oh, they've declared war on Poland as well. Fantastic. It's going to give me a bigger front soon. What a start to this war. This has been a hundred. Oh, not a hundred. 1.15 million dead Germans. And they're running out of equipment. This is fantastic. I don't know why the Germans are just stacking their planes in here, but it's very even. We are killing more of them. It's it's actually a very tight air battle there. I don't know why it's just in one province as well, but hey ho, we'll, we'll go with the flow. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful. That is a juicy ass little encirclement, if I do say so. Is is this the collapse of the German army? Is that sure as hell what it looks like to me? Oh my days, tanks, tanks, where are you? So you beautiful buggers are already there. Go right through. Oh, that's a. Ah, oh, that's an encirclement and a half. Oh well, that, uh, they've now got less divisions than me. Oh well, game set and match. Oh Germany, you had such a promising start, but oh well, death has come for you. I'm not even going to lose a mill. I'm not even going to get anywhere close to it. Like the amount of Germans we slaughtered is unbelievable. Three million. There we go. Right, this really bloody annoys me with this. Why does my peace deal result in? flipping Netherlands and Belgium getting their land back. I am not aligned with the Toronto Accord. I couldn't give two s**ts what they were doing. This is it. The final Russian showdown. That would have been over by now if it hadn't been for Germany interrupting the dicks. Oh well, perfect. The Russian Republic's armies kind of cut off down here. That's ideal. 23 to 30 divisions now. They've lost half a mil. Fantastic. Perfect. Uh, the only issue we have is supply a little bit. Well, they've been further cut into two. It's just a matter of just pushing to Vladivostok just to finish them completely off. And there we go. Russia is united once bloody more. Where is it? Reunite Russia. The return of the Russian Empire. In what seemed like an impossible feat worthy of the history books, the Russian Empire, restored under the leadership of Tsar Vladimir I, has vanquished the last of Russia's warlord contenders and reunified the troubled nation. In a virtually totalitarian regime, the new Russian Empire is now dominated by ultra-nationalistic Russians following the principles of flangelism. The Toronto Accord was quick to announce the new government as being worse even than the Soviet Bolsheviks, but the Russian Empire's territorial and geopolitical ambitions appear to be unfazed. Yeah, do you know what, America and Britain? Stuff yous, because we don't care. We've got a bigger army than both of you, so you can suck it. Oh, demanded a land, and they gave me it. But I, I, I thought I would get this bit of land as well, but hey-ho, I got what I needed. Again, really the only nation that still has my territory is Romania, so I'm just going to invade them once again. Wow, wow, they are, they are getting decimated. Oh, it's so satisfying to watch as well. And there we go. Romania is dead. Seriously, I actually do have to finish off Hungary. Fine. There we go, they're dead. Anyways, guys, I think that's where I'm going to leave that episode. I, I think we've had a uh, pretty successful game. We always do. I'm such a pro gamer. But um, that was a very fun Russian Empire playthrough with uh, good old Vladimir. And, you know, flangelism. Because <laughs> it's not based at all. What I'll do now is I shall um, try the other route uh, that we had the option of doing earlier with our original... Uh, leader that took over for the Civil War. I'll basically film that video straight after this one um, and we'll see what he can get up to as well and I'll try and put them both on the same day. Or I might not actually. We'll see what happens. Anyways, uh, do take care and I shall see you all very soon. Cheer by now.